hi and welcome to Jupyter Notebook as you guys can see I've just created an area underneath the curve this tutorial is at, is at a request of one of my viewers out there let me show you guys um, this person's comments and right here hi captain can you help with data visualization using MATLAB to plot an area underneath the curve, please. Thanks, I love all your videos. The truth is, this is my first time to plot a graph using Jupyter Notebook. So this is what I came up with. I suppose I met this person's requirement. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna start a new project entirely. So let's come straight to file here and we select new notebook and select python 3 click on that and there we go so we now need to import the following model so the one i'm going to import is called I'm just enter in the import matlab matplotlab dots import the python and that python we're going to nickname this python plt there we go now we're gonna have to run that so click on run there the other library that i'm going to import now is going to be the number pi so let's say import number pi as np run now that i've imported my two libraries okay i will now define my x axis i'm going to say x equals number pi dot line space and the value in there is going to be minus five comma five comma 100 there we go and let's declare a no, uh, local variable this variable is going to be int equals number pi dot line space and i'm going to make that minus four comma four there we go all right that's for my x axis so now let me define my y axis so for the y axis i'm going to say so y equals let's say one plus x squared now that s is squared and let's say y has another int uh, variable y equals one plus x underscore int and let's get that squared as well by two there we go now that i've defined x and y axis let's get it plot i'm going to say plt dot plot plot the x comma and the y axis there then there's a p l t dot grid enter parentheses and let's just plot this out and see first so so i'm going to say p l t dot let's go for x label so i'm going to make that so which means i'm actually drawing my label the x and y label and i also need another one for the y axis so i'm going to make this y and change this to the y axis there so we can then come right underneath here and just let's ask the system to the p plt dot show 
there that's my very first example so i'm going to click on run let's see what's going to happen there we go now we have a cap look at that all right so the other thing that we can do is we can let's assume uh, let, let me just copy all of these I suppose you can say it okay let's do one other thing you see this graph that we just plotted let's add a title to it so to add a title all you need to do is plt dot title and the title in this case I'm just going to make that let's say that is going to be area under the curb under the curve there we go that's my title so I'm gonna run that again let's see there we go look at the title there now what else can we do we can also modify this okay let's go right up there okay what can we do to modify it so we can add we can actually shade this area so to get this area of the graph shaded let's come back in here we can just enter let's say plot plt dot fill and let's say fill between and that is going to be x ins comma y underscore int comma okay guys we can even run it now let me get rid of this comma then click on run and you see how the field look like that is it the default color for the field is blue you can change that color if you want so let's say you enter comma and just type in color equals and you you can just enter whatever you want i'm going to enter g Okay, let's see color G run that now there we go okay let's change the color to something else I'm going to go for maybe R and run there we go that gives us red as you can see the red just seems to be too pronounced the other thing that we can do is we can enter an alpha there let's say alpha And let's make that to be uh, 0 0.4 to reduce the thickness. So if you click on run, there we go. Look at that. And the other thing that we can do now is we can change the look or we can flip. We can actually flip this curve. We can flip it around. So let's go up here. You see where we have our Y axis let's just divide that by one and divide here by one as well okay now let's run that and see how that's gonna look like there we go look at that okay look at that and have a good look at the lines of codes there and one other thing that we can do is we can add a legend to it. So let's say we want to add a legend here. We can just add that right underneath here. Let's say plt dot legend and enter parentheses. In there, I'm going to enter square bracket. And right inside that square bracket, let's enter an apostrophe. And what's our legend going to be? You can just, I'm just going to enter curve in there. There. Okay, so all we then need to do is let's run it and see how that's going to look like. There we go. Look at it. Look at the legend right, right up there. Okay. So with that, guys, I believe I've been able to respond to your request. So have a good look at the lines of codes. And this is the final outcome. If you like, you can change the color, maybe to green. The choice is yours. You can just type in the first letter of the of the color, or you can even type in full. Okay.
there we go or you can change it to red just like I did earlier so with that I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you enjoy it you all have a nice day now please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel bye for now